This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location at ITW 2017, and I'm here with Mr. Richard Steenbergen. Richard is the CTO of Packet Fabric. Richard, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. Outstanding. So uh, what's the latest and greatest coming out of the newsroom there at Packet Fabric? So we are announcing uh, expansions into as many different locations as we can possibly do. And we've just completed a deal with Colo ATL mm -hmm. in 55 Marietta uh, to access their customer base and help build their, their ecosystem out. Outstanding. So um, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Packet Fabric? So Packet Fabric is a completely automated network, completely greenfield network built from the ground up with the, the design of automation. The premise is to make networking services as easy to consume as a, as a cloud service. Mm -hmm. Anyone anywhere should be able to go to a website, use our portal, use our API, and build and maintain virtual circuits to any other endpoint. So instead of taking six weeks or six months to provision a circuit, you could turn up a 100 gig circuit in six seconds. That is about as succinct of, a, of an answer as I could expect to have gotten on from that question. Thank you very much. So um, based on that, why don't you tell us a little bit about the, the, um, the partnership with Colo ATL and, and how that partnership ultimately um, helps your, your end user customers? Yeah, so we're in the business of connecting any number of locations, but right now we're focusing on major data centers. We're mm -hmm. focusing on, on data centers that are, are multi-tenant that where the customers are looking for connectivity and they're looking for better better solutions than what they've ever had from traditional carriers. So Colo ATL is a, a great diverse play from 56 Marietta. Mm -hmm. It's a, a very good location. It's got a lot of fiber coming in there. It's got a, a lot of alternatives to some of the traditional locations. And we're in the we're looking to help expand that market. We're looking to help connect more data centers, more customers in those data centers, and create a, a distributed ecosystem. Very good. So it seems pretty clear to me what the, uh, the value of Packet Fabric is, but um, you've been very successful. So why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about um, why so successful? What is it about Packet Fabric that, um, that folks are, are interested in? I think it's really the, the innovative technology. I think we've we've kind of come to the market with several things that no one's ever done before. Uh, I think we've got very innovative technology in the in the software, the control systems for the for the network itself. We have very innovative technology. We've had a great partnership with Juniper, uh, so we we've launched uh, we we launched day one with 200 terabits of edge capacity. We're moving to 500 terabits like by lot. the end of the year. <laughs> it's it's enormous. Uh, it's very disruptive, and I think we've had a lot of, of optical technology as well. So it's not just a uh, you know, the ability to connect to a packet-based network, but we also innovate in the underlying fiber itself. So we can move 25 terabits between cities. We can do it at a lower cost. We can do it in an in easier-to-consume fashion. I think that's really the value. Outstanding. Okay, so you're segueing beautifully for me. Um, we know what's going on with you right now, but let's look into the crystal ball. Why don't you tell me what our viewers can uh, expect to see from Packet Fabric, say, in the next year? So, more locations. Uh, we have over 400 on our build list. We, we launched day one in January with 86. I think we're up to 130 now. So it's, uh, it's, it's rapid deployment. We're expanding into, so we just turned up Minneapolis. We're expanding into Sacramento, Houston, um, Jacksonville, uh, Philadelphia. More and more cities are coming online, more and more locations in those cities. Uh, and, and we're looking at a European expansion later this year as well. Hot dog, that sounds, that sounds absolutely fabulous. So why don't you tell our viewers that are interested in knowing a little bit more about Packet Fabric where they can go to get that information? www.packetfabric.com. Richard, thank you very much. Thank you. You bet, you bet. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.